Oh, it's Petra Predictions here. I see Italy beating Macedonia, probably with a tight scoreline of 2-1. Both teams have shown their defensive vulnerabilities, but I do think Italy will dominate in possession and will need that win to keep their qualification hopes alive. And then that leaves a very interesting final match day fixture of Ukraine versus Italy. I think it'll be a very close match, but I do see it being 1-1. I see it being a draw. And then that way, Italy will qualify ahead of Ukraine based on the head-to-head -head records. And I do see Ukraine leading, actually. And then Italy, within the final few minutes, Germany from a corner or something, equalising. Croatia had a really damage in October. And I see them bouncing back well with these easier final match day fixtures. I see them beating Latvia, probably about 3-0 or something. And again, beating Armenia at home, probably about 3-0 ensuring they get maximum points they can. I see Wales beating Armenia on a very tight scoreline like about 1-0. It'll be a very hard fought win for Wales and it'll be some redemption for the capitulation in Cardiff earlier and I do see Wales beating Turkey again a very tight scoreline probably 2-1 and it will be very hard fought and that way Wales will qualify ahead of Croatia for the Euros based on head-to-head -head records. Yes, you could argue Wales has a lot of pressure and Turkey have no pressure at all and can be playing with such fluidity and freedom. But Wales really impressed me against Croatia. The pressure was on both of the teams and actually Wales did so well and I actually do see them at home in Cardiff, final match day fixture, crowds cheering them on getting that important win. I think Albania will win against Moldova only about 1-0. I think Moldova will put up a really good fight, but Albania just have too much quality and they're on good form and they will qualify for the Euros. I see the Poland-Czechia game being a draw, probably 2-2. There will be goals. Both of their defences have shown to be really shaky at times and both of the teams really have to go for it to qualify. And then the final game of Czechia Moldova, a real big group decider, and I do see Czechia winning about 1 0, probably 2 0. Again, Moldova really showing a good fight, but Czechia just showing their quality in the final match day when it really matters. Hungarians making their lives difficult for themselves against Lithuania, but to be fair, they were 2 0 down. Came 2-2, got a result. They dug absolutely deep in that game. And for the important matches in Group G, I do see Hungary beating Bulgaria away. It will be a hard-fought win, probably about 1-0, could be 2-0 and then Hungary will qualify and then the other important fixture would be Serbia at home with Bulgaria and I do see Serbia winning comfortably this game too maybe 3-0 qualifying as well I see Denmark winning against Slovenia only about 1-0 it'll be a tight scoreline and I think they will get lucky even though I see Denmark dominating possession dominating the game but Slovenia will give a real good fight that leaves with an intense final match day fixture between Slovenia and Kazakhstan winner takes it all and qualifies there's only been one draw so far in this group in this campaign but I do see this game being a draw and I see it being a lot of goals and I see it being about 2-2 both teams have to go all out and Kazakhstan have shown they can come from behind to win matches and do really well actually towards the end of a game but this is such a unique occasion for them. They've exceeded their own and others' expectations. And I think it's just so unique. And I think they will crack under the pressure. But they'll still put in a great performance. They could even win it. But I see it being a draw and Slovenia qualifying. With all the traumas going on, Israel is not in the right frame of mind. And most likely would have lost home advantage because of security reasons and in a sporting perspective that will make a huge difference. I see Switzerland narrowly beating Israel 1-0. I think Israel will put up a very good fight but I see them being vulnerable at the back and making mistakes not necessarily being in the right frame of mind and with Switzerland they're really on thin ice as they've had too many draws now and I think they 
will pull through. They know how to grind out results and they will show their quality in this match. I see the Israel Romania game ending in a nil nil draw. I think it'll be a really cagey tight game. I see both teams being quite scared and not wanting to take risks in the fear of slipping up. I see Switzerland comfortably beating Kosovo 2 nil in their final home match. I see them just cranking up the gears, showing their quality, ensuring they do qualify at home. I see Israel narrowly beating Kosovo 1-0 in a hard-fought victory and I think this will be a massive win for them after the emotional ride of everything in that but I think it'll be a little too late as I do see Romania drawing against Switzerland at home 0-0 in their final match day. Switzerland at this point I predict would have qualified already. They'll be testing out new players and I think Romania will dominate that game but just lack that cutting edge in that. So I do see Romania edging Israel and qualifying for the Euros. I see Slovakia winning against Iceland 1-0 in a hard-fought win in front of their home fans celebrating qualification. Slovakia has been by far the second best team in Group J. I don't really see them having issues qualifying from now. Here you have my predictions for the final key match day fixtures and which teams would qualify subsequently. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.